Hey everyone, uh, in today's video I'll be showing you how to reduce the fan noise on the Lenovo Yoga laptop. So now after searching and searching for a solution, going on the official Lenovo forums, you know, reading comments like uninstall the Wi-Fi drivers, installing new bio updates, and even installing third-party apps like fan control, to even watching videos on completely taking apart your laptop, nothing was working for me. But I've finally found a quick and easy way to solve this annoying fan noise problem. Just a disclaimer, this method worked for me in my Lenovo Yoga 720 13-inch model. Now without further ado, let's get started. So what you want to do is go down over here to that battery icon, right click on that, and click on power options. Now this is uh, usually on on default when you first open up your laptop, turn on your laptop, you would have balance as the recommended power plan. And so what you want to do is you go to change plan settings here and down here to change advanced power settings. Yep. So we scroll down here and we look for processor power management and click on that. And we'll click on the third drop down, which is maximum processor state. So, on default factory setting, uh, these will be set to 100. And all you want to do is reduce this to 98. You can reduce the plugged in one as well if you want. 98. So, now what that does is that it limits the heat and the power being used by the laptop. And you're asking, why would I want to do that? Well, the fan noise you're hearing is the laptop trying to keep itself cool. Now, by reducing the max processing state, you're essentially throttling the laptop. Now, don't worry, this won't reduce the actual performance of the laptop to a noticeable degree. Like, it's a good thing. Uh, this 98% isn't a magic number. It just works for other people. I actually have mine set on 90 uh, the whole time. Play, play around with it, you know, if 98 doesn't work, then slowly reduce the percentage to a workable degree. So, after modifying all these settings, we'll click on Apply, and that should enforce the change. Click on OK, and close that. So, give it a few moments, shut it down, restart, whatever you want to do, and after reopening the laptop, it should have solved the problem. Now, if it doesn't, maybe take it back to where you purchase the item and see if the tech team are able to assist you. Call up Lenovo to see if they can do anything about it or even try the other methods out there on the help pages. Uh, that's the video guys. If this tip helped you out, please click the like button and see you in the next one.